Yo, what's up? This is Sante coming to talk to you real quickly about investments and the, important of it, the importance of investing. And um, we all invest, but it depends on what we invest in that, um, you know, it determines the outcome of our investment, um, period, point blank, because we all invest in something, you know. Uh, the Bible says you reap what you sow. So when you um, sow something, it is an investment. When you plant that seed or whatever, or wherever you put that seed, you are investing. So what I have been seeing a lot lately, I've been seeing not only in just world news, but also social media and also work, um, daily interaction with people. We see that people invest in people, but what are they investing? Are they investing what they really want to get out? See, I, I see a lot of people going, and I was, if, you, if you're not careful and you, you allow yourself to be in a bull market, and um, it's, it's a such thing in investments called the bull and the bear market, okay? And it's a, it's a certain time in investing uh, when it's, you aggressively put everything you got into something, then it's a time when you pull back and diversify your your, 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 your wealth or your talents or whatever you put in and put it into something else. Diversify, you know what I'm saying, your portfolio. So I see a lot of people on the bull market, basically, they're taking more than what they're actually giving or they want, they're expecting more than what they're giving. And a lot to see with investments, investments is a tricky game because you have to be patient with investments. Sometimes you feel like you put in a lot or you put in a little in the beginning, you want a lot. And that's not how investments go. It's just not the rule of how these things go. Say, for instance, you know, I'm into investing. You know, um, I have my certain things that I invest in physically, you know. And I, I encourage you all to have something that you invest in physically. Now, I'm not, outside of your talents and outside of your time and your family, invest in something physically, something for you, your family, that you can cash in and, and get wealth or diversify, okay? But what I've been seeing a lot lately is I've been seeing people cast their stones or cast their seed amongst stones. And what's happening is that people are using them and pecking off their investment and the person that invested is leaving with nothing. Or I'm seeing people actually put in small amount of uh, investment and they're looking to reap a whole lot from what that person has sold. And that's not how you do investments, you know what I'm saying? When you invest, you wanna be straight up and you wanna play fair. That way people won't be hurt by your um, investment because they know the terms of the contract. You understand what I'm saying? So what I've seen today is I've seen a lot of people, um, you know, invest in their time to go vote and do things like that. And every day we invest in ourselves, we invest in our family, we invest in our talents. But what I'm going to just really drive home before I end this and cut it off and direct y'all to go, you know, to my YouTube page, which is Knowledge, N-A-L-E-D-G-E, -E, King. And if you ain't following me there, then something wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? But what I really want to drive home to you, find something to invest in, okay? Because no man, no woman is an island. We're here in this world basically to feed off of each other, use each other, not be misused. So use your talent, your time, your resources to put into somebody else. I'm not saying use it all, you know what I'm saying? But put it into somebody and nurture your investment and you'll be surprised what you get out. Some, and, and, and don't be careful trying to play people, you know what I'm saying? Because you, people, go, go to, people get hurt over their investments, you know what I'm saying? It's like, like that man Murdoch. He's in jail for 100 <clears throat> years for lying and cheating on investments. Don't cheat your investment. If you're going to invest in something, make sure that it's worthy to be invested in. Once you deem that it's worthy to be invested in, you spend time with your investment, with your seed. You cultivate it. You research it. This is going to go along with people and things. You research it. You constantly 
gauge the market. <clears throat> you got you constantly tell the temperature. Then you know when to kind of pull back in a little investment and say, okay, this person, I'm gonna invest in the knowledge of them. I'm gonna invest in the wisdom of them. I'm gonna invest in the understanding. And after a while of investing, it's gonna start to reap. You're gonna start to reap a benefit from what you sow. And if you see that you're not reaping a benefit, then you can pull your assets. But don't be a hoarder. Find something else to invest in. But moreover, first off, you have to be able to be supplied inside to invest. So you gotta be someone that's comfortable enough with you and with yourself that, hey, I can invest because I'm wealthy already in the inside. You know, fires with me, you have to be very, I notice you have to be very careful in what you invest in. I'm very careful who, I'm in, who I invest in or what I invest in. But once I do choose to invest, I make sure that I cultivate that investment. So my thing to you today is invest. Find someone to invest in. Find something to invest in. And if you're lacking the assets to invest, pray. Ask God for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. That way he can fill your cup, invest in yourself, get to know yourself, get to know what you want, like, need. And then from that point, you can be able to help others. But that's what it's all about. It's not about gimme, gimme, gimme. You know, move, 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 shove, shove, shove. It ain't about that. It's about getting, giving, getting, giving. You know, what you put out is what you're going to get back in most cases. You know what I'm saying? So the Sante coming at you. I'm about to get on my thing. You know what I'm saying? Just thought I will come to you. But check me out at knowledge, N-A dash, L-E-D-G-E -E, on YouTube. I've been doing that for a long time. And if... You don't check me out. Something wrong with you. Keep God first, family second, and you third. <laughs> and in that order, you will not be last because the last is always made first, peeps. So, one love. I get with y'all soon. Maybe tomorrow. Peace.